Gentlemen, it's a new year. You know what that means. GQ, Esquire, they're trying to get you onto these new fashion trends. Join the bandwagon. Start doing this type of grooming. Buy this piece of clothing. Wear this color. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about five fashion trends you may want to avoid and specifically why. Trend number one going skinny. And over the last five years, we've seen this happen with neckties. We've seen this happen with suits. We've seen this happen with jeans. Everything has gone skinny. And you may say the pendulum is going to come back and people are going to start wearing flared out clothing. I've seen a little bit of this in the fashion runways and that kind of stuff. But what I'm talking about for you guys is stop following the skinny, the flared out, the loose. You want to find what's going to suit your body type and wear that. So, if you are a larger guy, you never want to go to skinny clothing. It's going to look funny. It's just not going to look right. It's not going to complement your natural build. If you are a thin guy, then some skinny clothing is going to look good on you because it's going to naturally fit on your frame better. It's going to give a silhouette which looks more natural to your just the way your body is built. The key here is not to fall into a particular type of shape because the fashion or the runway, the bandwagon is saying, hey, jump on this. No, you need to understand your body type, whether you are a large guy, whether you are a thin guy, make sure that whatever you wear actually suits your body. Trend number two, the emergence of old school shaving techniques. So, we're talking about straight razors, cutthroat razors. We're talking about the safety razor. Now, this is a great thing. I think for some men, these are better options. And it's something that, you know, a lot of guys forgot that this is how our grandfathers, our great grandfathers used to shave and has worked for men's for millennium. But the problem here is a lot of guys have vilified or they said, you know, I'm never going to go back to the cartridge razor. I'm never going to go back to these other options. To me, that's why this trend is dangerous because you want to have a number of tools at your disposal because I love a cutthroat razor, but it requires a lot of skill and you can't take that on a plane whenever you're traveling. No, the cartridge razor has its time and place because you can get an excellent shave and it's one of those things that it's very convenient. When I wake up, maybe I got to catch an early flight 3 o'clock in the morning, I don't want to think I'm not pulling out that cutthroat razor or I'll be going to the ER, not to the airport to actually catch my flight. Now, this video is sponsored by the Dollar Shave Club because guys, I've been using the razors for over a year. They are an excellent option and what I love, boom, delivered right to my mailbox. I mean, just, you know, I don't have to think about this. If you haven't tried the Dollar Shave Club, you're missing out. It's an amazing shave at an affordable price. And right now, they're giving away a one month trial of any of their razors for a buck with free shipping. That's one dollar with free shipping. And after that, it's just a few bucks a month. There's no long term commitments, no hidden fees. And you can cancel whenever you want. So, guys, go get your one dollar trial at the dollarshaveclub.com slash real men. Trend number three, bandanas and neckerchiefs. So, this one I was reading like a 2017 what's in, what's out and everyone's saying, oh, bandanas and neckerchiefs, they're so fashionable. Guys, when it comes down to it, always think of the function of the clothing. Now, if you want to be able to bring in color, you normally do wear neckwear, you wear ties, you wear ascots, then yeah, I think you could pull this off if you know how to wear this, if it's something that is naturally going to fit into your wardrobe. But don't try to wear something like this just because it's in fashion. If we think about the bandana, the neckerchief, this is something that was used to keep dust out of your clothing. Whenever I was in the Marine Corps, we were traveling through the desert, it was something that you wore something in and around your neck here to keep the sand from going in there. Now, cowboys did this throughout the, you know, we see this in Western movies, but don't be somebody that it's just trying to wear something because it's in fashion. Trend number four, pajama suits. Guys, I'm not, I'm serious about this. I saw this one and I'm thinking, okay, well, what did we expect? We had track suits and went to pajama suits because let's get back to the original suit. And that's what I want to stress here. I'm not going to tell you that you can't wear a pajama suit or you can't wear a track suit. But what I am saying is that every man needs to have a dark colored conservative classic suit. Why? Because someone's going to die. Someone's going to get married. You're going to need to look like a million bucks and your suit is still your go to item. It's classic men's style. It's been around for 70 years. Make sure you've got a suit that fits you, that when you wear it, you feel confident, you feel great. That's your suit of armor. Make sure you've got it in your wardrobe. 
Trend number five, going with the in colors. Now here this year, it's olive green, vermilion red, and powder blue. And don't try wearing those three together. You're probably just gonna get a bad look, even if it works for you. And that's key, is ignore the fashionable colors that are in. Yes, some of the clothing out there for sale is probably gonna follow these trends this year, but you wanna focus in on what works for you. And that's, the, that's one of the issues, is most men don't realize you should have the confidence because you have the ability to naturally select the colors that work for you. I know for me, olive green, I was happy to hear that's in because that's one of the colors I gravitate towards. You can actually select many of the colors that work for you, gravitate towards those, build a wardrobe of colors that you love, and then you can maybe bring in something fashionable for a necktie, for maybe a pocket square, a small piece that is gonna be, you know, not gonna bust the bank. At the same time, it would allow you to maybe be a little bit more fashionable if that's your goal. But the point is, don't be a slave to fashion. Throughout this video, gentlemen, I've wanted to really stress, focus in on function. Focus in on timeless style. Focus in on dressing for yourself, finding what works for you. When I was talking about the shaving, yes, Dollar Shave Club is the sponsor. They're a great company, but really I've seen a lot of guys go towards this straight razor, go towards the safety razor, and they're not really getting that much better of a shave. They're getting a good shave, but they've like stopped using the cartridge razors and they don't have it when they need to travel. For some men, cartridge razors are gonna be the best option. Look out for yourself and find out what best suits you when it comes to all these trends. Make sense, gentlemen? Take care. I'll see you in the next video.